What is up, Sharkom? It's your boy Sharky, and welcome back to another episode of my Stardew Valley 1.5 playthrough. I have no idea what episode this is, but we're going to get straight into it. If you haven't already, make sure you do go back and watch the other episodes. If you've not seen them, make sure you go and catch up to keep up to date where we are for today's episode. There'll be a link down below to the playlist. So, the queen of the sauce today, we've got a new recipe, the radish salad. So, we've now learnt how to cook that. Very nice. We still, obviously, have no rain. Like, it's 21st of spring. We've only got seven days left and I've, we've not had no rain i think we've only ever had one day maybe even two in this whole season it's pretty tough i'm not sure if the beach farm has anything to do with that but it's really really difficult to get that rain maybe we need some rain totems so we got a, a green bean and a cauliflower today none that we actually need not for any other purpose other than selling so we're gonna do that right away let's get that extra money the silo is 140 out of 240 so we can get 100 more uh, animal food and the reason why I want to do that is because today we are going to get that coop finally 21 days later we're gonna get the coop it's been difficult to earn that money because of obviously the profit margin that we're on 50% is tough but we can do it we've, we've literally got 5,200 now so we only need 4,000 for the coop and that is my plan today we're gonna get some chickens Finny boy look at him he's absolutely loving life I had to wake him up this morning it was still sleeping I'm gonna do some maintenance around the farm water these crops and then we will get started with the day, guys. And we'll go up and get that coop right away. Because it's going to take a few days to, to build, so. Okie dokie. The crops are all watered and sorted. Don't forget the bowl. Let's give Finn his drink. There we go. Everything is sorted on the farm so far. There's nothing else we need to do here today. Maybe I'll check some foraging before we head up to Robin. Once I do build the, uh, the coop, we'll probably do a bit of fishing or foraging up there. Maybe even some mining. I'm not sure. But we still need to get some fish in the rain. I really want this rain to come. I'm hoping it does before summer arrives. Otherwise, we've got a full year to wait, guys. So I'm not going to do mining today. We'll save that for another day. We have got some things to donate as well. And geodes. That might be quite interesting to do today. What was the look? Let me check the look. Okay, we've got a neutral day. Mm, not too bad. I might save that for another day as well. So we need 300 wood. Which is, we've only just got enough. That's uh, very lucky. Then we need 100 stone, I believe. And then just 4,000 gold. So we can go and do that today. I'm going to need to chop some trees down. We need some more wood. 100%. I'm also going to smelt some more copper before we leave. Because I want to get 5 copper bars. Because I want to upgrade this watering can. Preferably before summer. So guys, let's go. In fact, let's check the farm first, like I said. Just in case we can see any... Supply crates. I'm also going to get some wood as well from here because we do need to tidy this farm up. So getting all these little branches or sticks or whatever they are is going to help clear it up a little bit and obviously get the wood at the same time. Now it's Sunday. I'm hoping Robin is in today. I know Tuesday is, is a no-no, so let's just hope that she is open today. Please be. Our rice is coming along nicely. This other one over here shouldn't be too far from done. Maybe we can get this today. No, nope, not yet. Okay. We should get some rice before summer anyway. That's quite good. Is anything to forage over here? Nope. Okay, let's head out of here. Let's just get these last few. Goodbye, Finn. Be a good boy. I'll be back soon. Probably going to need to eat something as well because we're running quite low on the energy. If I want to do some fishing or foraging or chopping some trees, we need some stamina. Got no stamina. Oh, we got a little horseradish. I'll take that. Right, okay, let's go. She is in today. Yes. Okay, farm buildings. Coop. There we go. Finally, guys, we are building the coop. Oh, no. Have we got space? I hope so. I don't even know where to keep this, you know. I think I'm going to keep this area for the pigs or something like that to find some truffles. I'll keep them on the grass like the big farm animals. Definitely want ducks on this uh, beach farm. Oh, my God. There's actually some stuff to forage up here. Look at that. I didn't even realize we could forage up there. Wow, we'll have to go up there before the day ends. So our chickens are going to go here. I've decided. Now, obviously, we need to upgrade the axe to get rid of these stumps, which is quite annoying. But we can still get into the door. We can still, we've still got room. So, obviously, it's going to be a bit messy until then. But you know what? We're going to go there, guys. I might make a little coop area there with some fence. And that's a great place for the chickens or the ducks if we get them as well. I am happy with that. I'm going to chop these trees down because we do need the wood. We can also do some foraging. I might not do some fishing. Just because the stamina is going to be quite difficult today. We'll see. But we're going to go into town as well. I'm going to speak to Linus, Jody, you know, the people we love, George. Let's get them hearts up with the, the, my favourite people first. 
we'll do everybody else afterwards, you know, because they're not as important as Linus and Jody and George. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. There's just too much to experience in the world. Okay, so we discovered that Linus likes spring onions, he likes horseradish. Okay, so we have got a gold one here for you. This is a great gift, thank you. Obviously, Sunday, the gifts have reset, so we can now give people gifts again. And Linus is at his first one. We're on two hearts, just like Jody. Obviously, we still need to work on Haley as well, because we are going to marry her. I know I uh, I drool over Jody, guys, but we can't marry her, so you know it's just it's just a little crush. Don't you worry, Haley's the one we're going for. There's Maru, Maru, Maru. How do you do? Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Uh, yes. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> so random. Great chat, Maru. Absolutely top-notch conversation. You're the only person I want to talk to. Oh, here's Ailey. Yes. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Yeah, me too. You've got blonde hair, she's got blue, you know. Weird. So far, we've discovered she likes a daffodil. We know she likes sunflowers and coconuts. But guess what? We can't get those yet. So, let's give her. What quality is this daffodil? Hopefully, this is better than normal. Oh, it is. It's a silver. We can give her that. We've just found it for you, look, fresh off the ground. Huh, for me? Thank you. You're welcome. Obviously, it's not something that she loves, and it's not high, high quality, so... We've not even got one heart with it yet, guys, but we're getting there. We're getting there, right? Okay, let's go. See what's happening in town today. Is anything popping off? Mayor's just put something on the notice board again. Okay, Clint wants 30 yours. So he wants me to bring them. Do we have to find them? Yeah, we've got to gather 30 ores. We'll try. We'll go into the mines tomorrow, so we'll see what we can do with that. Let's go and see George. I like him. Ha, <sighs> aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Ha, <sighs> bless him. Okay, we've not discovered that he... We know that he likes a leak. We've actually got one. Uh, we've got a silver one. There we go. This is my favourite thing. Thank you. He loves them. You're welcome, George. I like to work on uh, a few people at a time to get those hearts up, you know, like my favourite ones. And then we'll start working on the rest of them. But right now, I've got a few in mind that I want to focus on the most. Hi, Sharky. Hello. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. You'll need a loom, though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. We'll get there. We're going to get so many farm animals. It's going to be great. Just wait for it to go. <sighs> Nothing. Jody's not home. That's sad. Gonna go into the forest area, maybe chop some trees down here, and also do some foraging too. Tomorrow we'll go mining, and then the day after that we'll probably do some fishing. And when the coop's done, we'll get some chickens. Let's see what's about. We've got one random spring onion. <laughs> wow. Just knocking a few trees down, get this forage skill up and get some wood as well. We're already back on to 140 basically. Which is not bad. And we've got a little bit of home too. Got a nice dandelion there. Stamina's low. We might be able to get this tree just before we get sluggish. Oh, that was lucky. Just gonna eat these salmon berries just to get a little bit more. Let's go back around this way and see what we can see. Can't get any more trees. We are running very low. Oh my god, we got some bubbles. Okay. We know what happened last time we had bubbles, guys. It's a great way to get some extra money. Get fish fast. So let's go for it. And we've got a treasure chest already. May as well fish in this until they stop. We've not got long left at the night, so... It's not going to be too... Too long. <gasps> yes! We got the ancient seed. Now that is what I want to see. We can donate this. We'll get the blueprint to craft the, uh, the ancient seed. We'll be able to get the ancient seed or the ancient fruit. And we can make some good money. Okay, low stamina and the bubbles have just disappeared. So we had a few hours of that and we've got quite a lot of fish. Enough to make us a bit of money today. So it's not that bad. The night has gone better than I thought. It's always worth having a little look around into the waters whilst you're foraging. To see if you can find any of those bubbles. Because that means the fish are feeding. Which is exciting because obviously they bite a lot quicker. They're more hungry, they're active. You don't have to wait as long, so you get fish very fast. So back on the farm, we're probably going to sell everything that we can and then wrap this one up and call it a day. And we'll get started with the next day. Let's sell the bream, the chub. We've got some more bream and chub. Basically, that's all we've got. We've got a random dandelion that we'll sell. We've got some good stuff to store away. Also, we've got one of our copper bars done. Nice. I'll put another one of those on as well. 
ancient seeds store that away because that's beautiful. We can donate that tomorrow. Well, hopefully it's a good luck day because I want to process these geodes as well. So let's call it a night. Oh, level four foraging. Let's go. We can now get the, char uh, the charcoal kiln and the summer wild seeds. We've also got a better axe proficiency and plus one wild berry harvesting. We'd love to see it. And we made 425 gold. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Please be raining tomorrow. We need it, guys. Come on. Yes, finally. We've got some rain tomorrow, so we've got to remember to go and catch those fish that we need for the bundle. So that'll be an exciting day. We've got some green beans. We can sell these today. Make a little bit of extra money. Let's put another copper on the go. Right, I'm going to get the watering can, guys, and water these crops. And then we'll get started with the day. We've got quite a bit to do today. I can hear Robin building a coop. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Here she is. Going to fill my watering can. And she's getting started. Love it. Okay, the crops are all watered and sorted. Let's put the can away. Let's get all of the artifacts that we can donate today. And the geodes as well. Let's see if we've got any minerals that we need to donate to as well. So we need the quartz, the topaz, amethyst. And I think that's about it. I forgot to check the fortune teller. If we've got good luck or not, let's double check. Okay, it's another neutral day, so we'll just go and do it today. We do need to go and get that new fishing pole. What Willie sells, but it's 1,800. But I, I would like that because it's going to make us make more money for fishing. So that's going to be something I want to work towards as well. Maybe after today, if we get a few extra hundred gold, we can go and get that tomorrow. Look at the forage around here. It's been a while since we've foraged up here. Wow, I'll take that. The final day today to get the 30 copper ore. So that'll be difficult. A flower dance in two days. And okay, Willie wants four sardine. Maybe we can try and do that. I'm going to give George his other leak for the week. So that's his second one for the week. This is my favourite thing. Thank you. I'm not much of a talker, especially not to strangers, if you don't mind me saying. That's fine. Don't you worry. Soon, we will not be strangers. We will be besties. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis. Didn't see you there. Okay, so first, we're going to go to the museum and donate what we've got on our inventory. And then we can go and do the geodes. Here he is. Let's donate... Topaz, Amethyst. Okay, so we've got some new rewards there. Obviously, we did the Ancient Seed as well. So we've now got the Ancient Seeds. So we're going to grow this and we should get an Ancient Fruit. We've also got the Recipe and Melon Seeds. That is amazing. I'm going to get this Ancient Seed in the ground. So what this does, we can actually use this in Spring, Summer and Fall. Just not Winter, but if you've got a Greenhouse, obviously all year round. And when we get the Ancient Fruit, I'm going to place this into a Seed Maker eventually so then we can get a chance to make more seeds so let's process these geodes we've got two magmas clay and copper ore wow that was rubbish let's do the frozen ones too some more copper and whatever that is we've got 20 normal ones now this is going to take some time okay we've not got enough space for the rest so we'll have to go and do a donation and come back and break the rest of the geodes i am well aware this costs money and sometimes it's probably easier just to sell the geodes on their own. But because we are filling out the museum and trying to get the donations, uh, you know, it'd be nice to try and find some new ones. Any duplicates that we get, for example, some of these we've got on us right now, we can just sell. So we can make some money. But I want to, I want to do the museum. I think that's going to be a nice thing to do. So we've got the star fruit seeds as well. They're lovely. This is going to be good in summer. Another great valuable seed. Summer will be a big season for us. Let's process the rest of these eight geodes. And we are back again. We've got two more. Another reward. Oh, we're doing so well here. We've got a painting. Great. Oh my god. We've got four thunder eggs. Ten. Call for that. Wow. So, okay, so there we go. We have some things to sell. We've got some rewards. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I want to do I do want to go to the mines today. Oh, there's Pam. Hello? Ha, my head. She's hung over. <laughs> the last thing she wants to do is go to work. Hey, farmer. Hi. So we're going to go back, deposit some stuff, sell some stuff, get a clean inventory, and then we'll go to the mines and spend a few hours up there. Ooh, another amethyst. Let's go. Okay, so all these are duplicates, so we can get rid of the slate. Earth crystals are good for crafting, so keep hold of those. The celestine or steam. Four thunder eggs. Wow. So we'll sell four of those. We've also got two of them. And some more copper, get some more smelting. 
Let's put all our special seeds away. In fact, our ancient one can actually be planted. Now you guys are also saying that some of these crops far away down here, like the rice and stuff like that, and maybe these ones might not be able to get looked after by the scarecrow. So our ancient seed is going to go here in the middle, so it's quite close to the scarecrow. We know it's going to be safe. We can't accidentally dig this up because I will cry and we'll keep hold of the fruit that we get from this so we can eventually chuck it into a seed maker to maybe get two seeds back out of it maybe even three or four and that way we can keep duplicating the process and uh, getting lots of ancient fruits to eventually make a big supply of it and turn it all into wine and we should start making some good money we've got 11 gold ore so I'm gonna actually smelt two of these we may as well get the bars out of them We've got lucky with the fishing chests here, so that's not bad. But I'm going to quickly put these in here out of the way, because we've not got space. And then we're going to go to the mines, let's do it. Spend a few hours up there, get some resources, get a combat skill up and a mining skill. And just trying to elevate down five levels, maybe. I really need a new sword though, because it's getting quite difficult down there. Here's a boy Linus, let's quickly go and give him a gift, a horseradish, silver, there we go. This is a great gift, thank you. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. I love how he's so close to nature. You know, it means so much to him, and I love nature as well. Me and him get on. And here we are. We're on 30, so let's try and get to 35, shall we? Why not? Oh, it's these floors too. I hate these, because they're very dark. And the enemies are different too. But we do have the glow ring. It's helping us a little bit. Look at the copper, guys. That quest that we wanted to do for Clint today could be a great day for it. This sword sucks though. Look how long it takes to kill them. Yeah, we need a better sword. That is crazy. Oh, that takes so long, guys. We might have to get a better sword before we come down here. These floors are going to be difficult. Okay, we've got the ladder down. Uh, is there any more copper? This floor seems to be very good for the copper. Topaz. Oh, we've got one more up here. We do need it for the quest. If we can try and do this quickly. We can go meet Clint, uh, Clint at the saloon tonight. We need seven more. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to have to avoid these enemies as much as possible. Got some more down here. Let's go. Oh, no, there's the bat. There we go. Okay. Got a few more copper. Four more and we've done that quest. Let's try and get down with a ladder though, hopefully. There we go. Yes, I see some copper. We're running low on food, so let's eat some salmon berries. Come on, is this going to be the quest? Yes! Talk to Clint, the quest is done. We've also got down a level. One more, and we can get out of here. And I see a ladder. Oh, this is great. Just in time, too, because look what's happening. Let's go! Elevator done guys. Let's go and talk to Clint. Hopefully we can find him. We can do that quest. Get some extra cash. Because this is for 300 gold. That's actually quite a lot of money for us. <laughs> Here he is. Let's do it. Yes, you brought the ores I requested. Thank you. Hmm, it seems these ores don't have any rare gems in inside. That's okay. Here you is your ores back and your payment as promised. So we do get to keep those, which is very good. And 300 gold. Tomorrow we need to go and catch these sardines. And it's raining as well, so it's going to be a pure fishing day. It was revolting. No wonder Pierre's was selling that junk for, for so cheap. I don't know what he was on about. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. I bet he can't guess what my great-grandfather was. A sarcastic jerk. Wow, that was rude. I was just being funny and you took it to whole, a whole new level. <laughs> That's great. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. Pam, you need help. I'll keep saying it. You need help. So you know what, guys? I'm going to go to sleep, finish this day, and uh, yeah, just get straight on with the next one because the coop should be done. It's raining, so we've got to be fishing. Let's put the last bit of gold ore that we've got to make that extra bar. Okay, we made 689 gold. The mining stuff uh, gave us a little extra money there. Not too bad. We're starting to earn a little bit more money in the day. And here is the rain. Yes, yes. Can it be raining tomorrow? Oh, no, it's festival day, of course. And we've got a little extra look today. Finny boy, you stay inside. It's cold and wet out there. We don't want you to get poorly. And here we go. We've got a mail. Uh, tomorrow, we've got the flower dance. 
of course. But well, sadly, we can't dance with anybody because nobody loves us yet. But that's okay. It's fine. Okay, fishing rod. Definitely got to do that fish today. We need to go and get... Uh, which ones do we need? <laughs> I forgot. You guys let me know as well in the comments that when you're, in a, when you're in a chest, you can actually press the community center tab here to check whilst you're in the inventory or in the storage. You don't have to go back and then do it on here. That's, uh, that's quite handy. I think that came to the new update. So it was the lake fish, right? So we need the sturgeon, was it? We need a normal largemouth, the eel we can get in the ocean at night time, and the catfish. Oh, this is going to be tough. So no, it, it wasn't the sturgeon, was it? No, it wasn't. It was the shad. But we can get this in summer and fall as well. And even, even if we can't get the catfish this season, we can still get this in, uh, in fall. So it's not all that bad. And also, same with the eel. If we don't get it today, we can always get this in fall as well. But we can get this at night time only. So we'll go up at night time on the ocean and try and get him. But first, let's go for the catfish and the shad, which we can get in the river. So let's go and do it. The earlier that we start, the more chance we get to get these fish. It'd be nice to come away with all three today, and then we can go and donate everything tonight up at the commune center to start ticking off some of them bundles. And I just realized I forgot to check the travel lady again on Sunday. So hopefully the red cabbage wasn't in there. Otherwise, this is going to be a two year thing with the commune center, which sucks but you know it is what it is it doesn't matter if we fail that we don't need to get it done in the first year it's just something that i wanted to try and accomplish myself a little personal challenge mixed in with a playthrough you know but here we are let's try and get this fish and there we go guys we got the catfish straight away silver quality not too bad second cast first we got a broken cd and then the catfish was there now we can try and get the shad but this doesn't come until after 9 a.m so we can maybe try and get another catfish to sell And here we go. This one got away. He didn't like me, but at least we got the first one. And here he is again. Can we try and go for it again? Come on. Yes. This time we got you. New record. Gold quality. Let's go. Now we can start getting the shad. And here it is. Just like that. Another gold shad. I'm going to fish for a few more hours. And then we're going to go back to the farm, check out the coop. We've got some maintenance to do. I'm going to clear up the farm today, get some grass, get the animal food stocked up before we get some chickens tomorrow. And then at night time, we're going to go and get the eel. Our third catfish of the day. Let's go. We're doing so good with these. Oh, I was heading home and I noticed that mine is actually open. For some reason, I thought it was Tuesdays that she wasn't open but it must be Mondays so guys oh okay the coop's not built yet oh it must be tomorrow god damn it so I thought the coop would have been done but it's not so yeah tomorrow's festival day as well so we can't even buy any then so it looks like uh, Thursday is gonna be the day when we can actually get the chickens and that's definitely gonna be in the next episode we've got a new artifact to donate very nice so I'm gonna head home and sell these fish keep the ones away I might go up to the community center and donate things that we've got to get that over with and then we need to go to the beach and get try and get that eel uh, tonight from 4 p.m onwards or 4 till 12 or something like that so let's try and do that today the rice is not done on this side i don't think this one's done either is there anything to forage quickly i've not seen anything on the farm in a while some wormies though some clay oh yeah we forgot about this bit up here we can forage up here we've got the two sea urchin and the mussel very good and the letter from grandpa Wait for my return on the dawn of the third year. We we're gonna make you proud. See how many candles we can get lit. Okay, everything's sold and cleared. Let's get all the commune center stuff. We've got free fish to do. Uh, oh yeah, and the algae and the refined quartz that we managed to get. Let's go do it. Let's take a trip around this way this time. So we can maybe find something new. It is gonna be the longer way, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, wormies. Let's not forget these. A new book. Okay. Here we go. Some forage. Let's get inside here and donate these things before we head to the beach. So, the catfish. We've got the shad. We just need the tiger trout for the riverfish bundle. So, the quality. Oh. Oh, the gold shad. I forgot we need another one of those. Okay. Uh, let's try and get another one of those. Also, we've donated the, the gold largemouth. Okay, we've got to do that today. There's the five 
refined quartz for the engineers bundle and I think it was the medicine bundle that we needed was it four or five white algae uh, and then we'll finish this one as well and here we go five for that so we just need five hops five fiddle head fern or purple mushroom not too bad so let's go down and try and get a gold shad that'll be quite because it's raining obviously this is only one chance to do this really we'll try and get the river the shad here first before we go to the ocean and get the eel I really, really want these fish. Oh, that was terrible. Guys, this could be it. Straight away, first catch. Could be perfect, too. Right, be gold, be gold. It's normal? God damn, that's terrible. Oh, we've just had a gold one as well. I could, I should have kept that one away. Why did I do that for? This is a catfish. Wasting time. It takes so long to try and get. Okay, we got him. These are only normal quality. We might have to go back to the other spot. My prime spot that I like. Come on, come on, come on. I want two fish in one day. This is tough. Sam, help me. Let's go back to my spot. Like I said, it doesn't matter if we don't get these because we can get them in other seasons. Well, I'm not sure about the eel, but I know the shad we can get in another season. So we don't have to worry too much. But I just like to tick things off early, you know. I don't like to wait. There we go, another catfish. We had so many of these today. Oh my god, look at that. Rice shoes, a lost book, gold ore, and a magma geode. That's like the best treasure chest ever. Well, not really, but it's still decent. Right, this is a shad, I think. It's got to be gold, but it's not really fighting. Damn it. It's getting night time now, so that means the breams are going to be coming around. Another lost book and some gold ore. Wow. We are getting quality here, but no shad. And I think we only have up until 8pm. Or is it 6? Have we missed a chance? We might have missed a chance. Yeah, let's get to the ocean and try and get the eel. Sadly couldn't get the gold shad. We've got a normal quality. Which sucks because we could have swapped them. If we just waited a bit more, that gold shad could have been in the quality. And the normal one could have been in the, the river bundle. Oh well. It is what it is. A dried sunfish. Okay, let's try and get this. We have a few hours. We should get it. It's quite an easy fish to find. Right, here it is. This is definitely the eel. Come on. Here we go. Thank God for that. Okay. So we got it. We got the eel. Sadly, couldn't get the gold shad. But we can get that another time. Maybe it rains again in spring. If not, we can get it in, did I say fall? Maybe even summer. I think it's quite a popular fish. I think this is another eel that we can sell. So I may as well just do this for the rest of the night and wrap this one up. I'm going to see if I can make it to the commune centre and donate it. We'll drop off the eel before we go to bed. I think we can have enough time here to do this. Why not? Let's spend the night. Let's play it out until the very last second. Here we are. Easy. Plenty of time. Night time fishing. We still need the walleye, but let's get the eel. Two gold. And there we go. Everything else we can actually sell. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good, I think. Let's head home. Sell all of our stuff that we've got. And uh, we've got four amethysts. Where do they come from? But yeah, let's end this day and end this episode. The next episode should be good. We've got the coop, obviously, but it's not finished until tomorrow. Even though I thought it was today for some reason. Yeah, as you can see, she's still working on it. That's definitely going to be done tomorrow in the next episode. And we can go and get some chickens. We've also got the festival, which we can't really dance with anybody because we've not got enough hearts with. I think we need three or four. And yeah, Haley's not even got one yet. Oh, God. Oh, my dog's in my bed. Great. Are you going to let me in? Finn? Oh, Finn's sleeping with us. Okay, we've got six fish in. Level six. Wow. We've got some new crafting recipes for the uh, fishing tackle. Okay, the fishing was good. Look, the catfish are coming up here. Two gold catfish making 374 gold. Very good. We had a decent day of fishing. 1,245. Maybe next episode we can get the fishing rod too. Fishing is going to be a good way of making extra money along with animals. So, yeah, that rod's going to be important. But here we go, guys. This is going to be the next episode. All of these crops are ready to harvest. All of our potatoes. It's festival day. The chicken coop is not finished today. 
but it will be tomorrow because it's the festival right so that's probably why but either way it's going to be in the next episode so yeah if you guys are looking forward to it make sure you hit the like button stay tuned for the next episode it'll be out in a few days i've got some other videos lined up as well obviously my completion series I've got some episodes coming up of that and i've also got some farm projects that i'm starting involving all the new crops in the game where i do a crazy project involving thousands of like crops or fruits or something turn them into wine see how much money we can make put them to the test to see how profitable they are i uh, did a community post and you guys wanted to see mango wine that won the poll so that's what i'm going to be doing a mango wine farm project making so much of it and selling it let's see how much money we can make so if you're excited for that make sure you stay tuned as well subscribe if you haven't already as i'm recording this video stardew valley 1.5 i think has just been dropped on all consoles i know it's definitely for switch not 100 sure about the ps4 and xbox but i believe it's all consoles you'll have to let me know if so Hopefully you guys enjoy. You've been waiting so long for this update for all the console players. You're going to have a blast, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments uh, how much you enjoy it. But thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.